Hello, everybody. Welcome to day two of Measure of Music 2024. I am so excited to be here. Um, I hope you guys had a great time watching yesterday's talks, our keynote session, our speed networking. Um, I have to say that this year has been the liveliest conversation so far. So thank you all so much just for your enthusiasm. Uh, I was literally overwhelmed by the volume of comments we got yesterday and questions. I love to see it. Please continue. It's wonderful. Um, it's great. Thank you. Um, so let's get to business, right? So if you missed anything yesterday, all the talks will be available until at least Monday. Um, some, most of them are longer, but some will be going away from on Monday. So make sure you watch what you want to watch. Um, on the conference platform, um, you'll see at the top now there's a little replays area. You can check out all of the, um, all of the, um, you can check out all the videos from yesterday in the replays area. Um, Speaking of replays, yesterday uh, you heard from a bunch of our sponsors, um, and so I think now's a good opportunity for me to properly introduce themselves, introduce them, excuse me. Um, so yesterday you heard from our presenting sponsor audience. It's a consumer segmentation and cultural understanding platform that helps companies identify relevant audiences and discover amazing actionable insights to inform strategy. Um, they'll also have a sponsor and career fair booth today in our networking expo for those folks that were asking about open roles um, and for artists and companies looking to hear more about how to incorporate audience insights into their work. So make sure you check them out there. I'll talk a bit more about the networking expo in a minute. Yesterday, you also heard from um, Chartmetric. They'll have a sponsor booth at our networking expo today so you can discuss how to incorporate their vast database of music streaming and social data into your career, into your artist work, into your marketing work, whatever it might be. Um, in addition, you heard from BandLab yesterday. Um, BandLab is a music tech company developing innovative tools and services for music creators. Um, they're going to have a sponsor booth today at the Networking Expo to chat with artists and marketers about how BandLab can support them. So if that's you, make sure you chat with them about that. Um, you also heard from the global entertainment and music data analytics platform, uh, Luminate. And you got to see firsthand how their platform fully equipped is fully equipped with digital and physical consumption data. Um, it's one of my favorite tools, so I'm glad everyone got a chance to look at like how that platform works. Um, in addition, you heard from the concert discovery and marketing platform Songkick, um, and they have some great exciting new tools for artists, promoters, and marketers to reach their fans. Um, and then today and tomorrow, you hear from a few more of our sponsors and talks and panels, um, including the distribution and artist and label services company, The Orchard. Um, they they are um, part of Sony Music Group, um, and they are an incredible organization um, that I'm glad to bring on back for year two as a sponsor. Um, in addition, uh, the marketing solutions and label services company 1RPM, um, that they are both on our upstream panel to discuss, discuss how artists make it big. This is a panel I've been wanting to do for a long time, so I'm really excited to finally get to do it. Um, in addition to that, um, Andrew from the MLC, um, it's a nonprofit organization that distributes audio mechanical royalties, um, will be moderating our panel on music research. Oh gosh, so many. And so at this point, um, hopefully you know that we also have a hackathon. Um, so now's a good time to give a big thank you to our location sponsors um, that have graciously allowed hackathon participants to hang out with them for the weekend. Our location sponsors are Drexel University's Westfall College of Media Arts and Design in Philadelphia and music industry data operations provider BMAP Music Innovators in Barcelona. Um, thrilled to bring them back for year two. Um, thanks for them to be our guinea pig last year. Um, you'll actually hear from Nan at BMAT on our Equalizing Opportunity panel later today. And then a big thank you to Jump Global, that team who helped us with our sponsorship management and our promotional support. Um, and this is impossible without them. So a huge thank you to that team as well. In addition, we have additional media and promo support from Gig Life Pro, Key Change, Key Change US, Live Out Live, and Industry in Spanglish. Industry in Spanglish is an educational platform for Latinos in creative and entertainment industries. So you'll be able to connect with them at the community booth during the networking expo as well. All right, I think that leads me into the rest of the day. So you've heard me talk about the networking expo for a while now. Um, so I'll tell you what it is. Uh, it's a virtual expo where you can meet organizations, companies, and artists. There will be booths that you can join in to have small sessions to ask questions, meet the team, and find out more about all of the different companies that are involved. Um, the booths we marked to tell you what they are. So the options will be the career fair booths, so you can learn about employment opportunities for music and tech companies. Our career fair is sponsored by Jobs by Roster, um, which is a new type of music jobs board. So you can join their booth um, and hear about their job listings and how to get your open roles listed for free as well. 
the Artist Career Fair is a way to learn about projects and roles to join and support emerging artists. Some of the artists that are also subjects for our first artist projects um, have booths at the Artist Career Fair as well. So that's really cool that you get to get a chance to chat with them. In addition to that, we have sponsor booths. Um, so the sponsor booths, you can hear more about sponsoring companies' platforms and products. Um, that's not for career-related questions. If they aren't if they aren't marked with career fair, um, they're not open. They're not. They're not going to be talking about jobs. Um, so if it says just sponsor booth, they're just going to be talking about their tools, their platform, how to incorporate their your tools their tools into your work in your career. Um, if they say both sponsor booth and career fair booth, they'll be doing both. But if it's just sponsor booth, that's meant for artists or businesses to talk about how you can collaborate with the sponsor. Um, and then finally, our community booths. Uh, this is new this year, but you'll hear from communities and nonprofits that are looking for new members and are looking to share their mission. These are just great companies that are doing really cool work in the music space um, that I wanted to make sure I had the opportunity to interact and talk with people. Um, so really thrilled uh, to be able to bring a bunch of really great communities together for uh, our networking this year. So, you check out the conference main website, so that's conference.measuremusic.com, so how you normally sign in here, you'll be able to see all of the different um, fun, uh, all the different booths that are going to be happening this year. Um, you'll be able to see what they're looking for. So for example, for the career fair, there's a note uh, they're looking for entry level roles, more senior roles, things along those lines. You'll be able to see more about the organizations. If you check out towards the bottom of the page, you'll see the different tabs to pick through and see who has what booths and what they're, what they're all about, basically. So over the course of the expo, you can pop into any and all booths at your leisure to get to know these fantastic artists and companies. I would say the participants um, will be able to go in first. So the participants get to join the expo 30 minutes early to have first priority to chat with these companies and artists. In the meantime, if you're a spectator, um, you are going to be um, You'll be going to be joining the expo about 30 minutes later, but you'll have the opportunity to watch some startup showcases. So we have four great early stage music tech companies that are going to be showcasing their platforms um, right after this. And so you'll be able to join in over there to check them out until it's time for the networking expo. Um, following that, uh, the networking expo will open up for everyone, but if you're not feeling social or you're more curious about a bit of coding and analytics, stay on the main stage here, um, well, where you are now, to check out the Afrobeats Analytics Workshop for a heads on for a hands-on approach to managing data. After that, we'll have our keynote fireside chat with Temi and four more fantastic panels before we close out with another night of speed networking. Project participants will also do another Q&A session this evening to answer any questions you might have about your project, but you still have some time afterwards to head to speed networking. Um, also, project participants, if you're watching me right now, don't forget to check in so we know that you're online and working. Um, for those just joining us, a reminder, comments and questions obviously are strongly encouraged throughout our talks, panels, workshops, and startup showcase. All the panels and talks we watch in our conference platform where you're watching now, so you'll just bounce between talks to watch each session. And if you'd like closed captioning, please use Safari or Chrome browser to turn on the live captioning for yourself. Our networking takes place outside of the conference platform, and you'll see a link in the conference platform when it's available to you. If you joined us yesterday for speed networking, you'll be able to use the same login info from yesterday to join the networking today. If it's your first time joining us for networking, I suggest using the connect to social network. Um, so connect to Google, LinkedIn, whatever to log in because it's much faster than going through the whole email password situation. And it also works best on a desktop computer. All right, I had to speed through all of that to make sure I got all that in for you guys. Um, so we have a jam packed day. So we're gonna get started. Up next is our startup pitches and participants access for the um, networking expo. So I will see you all there.